And welcome back to the Mathi. We're along with uh, Joe Abramson. Kindly, we are joined by the head coach of the Wayne State Warrior football program. And uh, Joe, you made the crack earlier, and you can look at the TV screen right now. I don't think Coach Winters can wipe the smile off his face. And I, you know, that's a good thing. When your coach is walking around with a smile on his face, uh, that's a good thing. Uh, coach, always a pleasure to see you. How are you, buddy? It's my pleasure. It's great to see you. Hey, let's talk about your class and I guess the reason why you're smiling. Uh, a, a class of 28, and I guess for the Warrior fans out there, uh, give us some of the highlights. Uh, the highlights are talent. Uh, talent, character in all 28. Um, we started with defense, uh, defensive line. We signed six defensive linemen. Uh, they, I think, five or four are defensive ends, and they're fast, they're athletic, they're quick twitch. Um, they have great length. Uh, very excited about them. We have four linebackers that are all around six foot, six one, two hundred pounds, and they can all run. They can all get to the football. Um, and we saw we signed seven defensive backs and five of them are corners um, and the the corners they were just here for our futures day and they're six one they're six two um, they're long they're athletic I believe they, they're easily able to compete on the Mac level um, we're very excited about them great McDade is a young man from Sterling Heights Stevenson who has tremendous ability and he's just one of the five you know so Kyle Toth, a 6'2 safety, we signed out of Hudsonville. So defensively, we did a great job, I think. And uh, we signed two quarterbacks. We signed the state champion, DJ Zazula, out of Clarkston. Uh, we went to Ohio and signed a young man from uh, Holy Name, uh, Christian Klink. So <laughs> I could go on and on and on. I mean, it was a big class. And that's something, you know, talking to some of your assistants the other day, they said that's how it's going to be. I've never seen him this excited about a class. Now. You've gone on record saying this is the best class you've signed in your time here. I want to ask you about some familiar names we saw. We saw Balecki and we saw Carrizales. Right. Um, we signed two brothers of, of current players and actually all-star players for us. Um, Zach Balecki was a great safety, led the league in tackles. Uh, we signed his brother Andy. Um, Andy's a young man who actually had a, a, an injury this season, missed most of the season. But he's the same kind of tough, you know, um, just never give up safety like his brother Zach and then we signed um, Caleb Carrizales. Caleb Carrizales can play anywhere. I mean he's 6'3", 280 now in high school and he covers kicks. He's the, the L5 on kickoff coverage and he's the first guy down the field. I've never seen a kid that big play like he plays. So that's why we're excited. Well you know just in the time that we've been talking here Jake Carrizales made seven tackles. Just in the time that we've been talking to Coach Winters here. <laughs> Kid's phenomenal. Coach, you know, one of the things that, and, and I remember talking to, to Josh Rennell, a former player of yours, and now in the in the radio broadcast, one thing that's underrated about your teams the last few years, the linebackers. You know, you mentioned the, the depth of linebackers and going out and getting some of those guys. Hey, people talk about the running backs rightfully so, some of the playmakers up front. I think linebacking is a position that, for whatever reason, you always seem to find guys that make plays at the linebacking position. Absolutely, no question. And then, and, and last year it started with us kind of refilling that position because with Ed Viverett and his group, we kind of graduated a large group of linebackers. And so we had a little bit of a hole last year, but Marcel did a great job, and obviously Norris did a great job. And um, we recruited six linebackers last year and four this year. So that room, we don't, the room's too big <laughs> or too small, but we've got too many guys to fit in the room. But the talent level at the position is as good or better than it's ever been. And that includes with Ed Viverette and some really great players. Um, you watch these guys, uh, they're outstanding. You know, I know you, you talk all the time about leadership, character, and things like that. And you said to me at the end of the football season, you were graduating your best group of seniors. Hmm. Now you just, you've got to replace your best group of seniors and what better way than with 28 guys that you say are all character guys on top of being talented. It keeps the mode going. Not only that, but we, we have a group of young men who get it. That are, you know, this group of guys that we recruited, they're great character, great leaders, um, excellent student athletes. But we had a team meeting yesterday where we do leadership meetings during this off season. And we let these guys who are going to be our seniors and our juniors this year kind of lead some of the groups. 
And as you listen to them, you hear them sending the message of the coaches. And, and it's kind of like they're repeating the messages. And that's all we can ask for. If they can take the message down to the rest of the team, we've got leadership. And I think we'll have that kind of leadership this year. Well, Coach, you know, it's interesting. You, you, you mentioned some of the places that you've gone. And, I, you know, I, I don't want to make you blush or anything, but you're going on the west side and you're picking guys out of somebody else's backyard, going down to Ohio, and you're picking guys out of the talent-rich Ohio and everything. Hey, all's, all's fair in love and recruiting. <laughs> you got to get yours, and it sounds like you and your staff went out and did just that. Yeah, you know what's great about this class? What we do when, when recruiting starts, we evaluate everybody, and we go by position. And what we do is um, ultimately, obviously, I make the last decision. I'll rate them as an A. And it's A1 through one, um, 5 or 1 through 10 or however many A's you have. And A's are guys that can come in and be really good football players, leaders, um, winners. You can win with them. B's are guys that, well, if we can't get the A's, these guys are really good. Let's, let's take them. C's are guys, hey, you know what, we're really struggling and we've got a little bit of money left. We'll offer him what we have left. So as we went through the list, by the second week of December, we had... 15 A's already. Mm. So <laughs> you talk about excited. I mean, I was like, oh my God, they're all coming. <laughs> now, talk about the next season, because you said you're not a senior heavy team next year either. You're a bunch of juniors. You're really building something that by the time these guys are playing, you could have well, something. Here's what I told this group I said, we have 25 juniors, all right? Juniors are fourth-year guys for the most part in our program. In your fourth year, you should be a dominant football player in this league. So we've got 25 guys that should be dominant players for the next two years. That gives you guys two years to prepare yourself to be dominant players. So if those 25 guys do what we ask them to do, then these 28 guys, when it's their turn, they'll be ready. And, and we'll have that continuity that we're looking to have you know coach it's amazing it's a, I, I appreciate you coming over and saying hello but you know uh, i'd be remiss if i didn't ask you uh when when is the the spring game and, and you know i mean you and i have been through this process the last few years the spring game's here and then all of a sudden in the blink of the eye it's the home <laughs> opener it seems like it just goes by that quickly but uh, for the benefit of our viewers out there that maybe want to see some of the future of the warriors when's the spring game we'll have the spring game on saturday april 18th and we'll have um, two large scrimmages the week before that, which is the 11th and the 4th. So we'll have um, three big scrimmages in the spring, and the 18th will be the big spring game. Outstanding. Hey, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for having really me. Really looking forward Appreciate to seeing it. you. Of course, Appreciate it. Coach Winters will always do interviews on the television side uh, when football season 2015 hits, and he'll even talk to those lowly radio guys as well. Love Once them. in a while. I love them. Thanks, They're Coach. Guys. Half time here <laughs> at the Math Night. We'll come back and look back at the first half and look at what the Warriors need to do in the second half to get this turned around. You are watching CN 900. Don't go anywhere.